I need two units soon. Motor one's moving. Yellow shirt, take that light. KC, take that light. Nerds, move up. What seems to be the problem, officer? It seems, um... The sheriff? Yep. Orange okay. County. Oh. 17 years. Okay. The time is 15.09 hours. Person being interviewed is Eunice Gardy. Because when he saw the sheriff thing on my vest, he said, are you a sheriff? I said, yes, I'm a volunteer with the Orange County Sheriff's Office. The sheriff? Yep. Orange That's County, oh. 17 years. You specified you were a volunteer? Yes. Did at any point that you feel like you gave him the impression you were a deputy sheriff? No. The sheriff? Yep. Do you feel there's any reason that that deputy would get the impression that you were a... No, uh, because you're just totally ignorant. The sheriff? Yep. Okay. So you didn't tell him that you were... He asked if you were a deputy sheriff, and you didn't say yes, I've been no, a deputy sheriff for 17 years? No, Okay. All right. You know it's all on video, right? Yes. When uh, Miley showed his uh, little badge, um, the, the rookie guy, like, changed his attitude toward us. Right, of course. Yeah. Right, take the sergeant the phone. He's good Hold on, he's, he's the sergeant's he's here. Write you guys written warnings, okay? Written warnings, they're writing us. Sergeant! We shouldn't even be doing that. Sergeant! These guys are in a motorcycle procession. Sergeant! Be a foot on somebody's bumper. I know. Oh. Okay. So, and, uh, okay, sergeant! Can you yes, sir. Second of your time? Yes, sir. 316 Listen to me. What do you need to go right now and say Florida Statute 316-1974 says tailgating is exempt during a funeral escort. Right fucking now. Hold on, go. he's coming. Don't say anything. All right, take the sergeant the phone. He's good Hold on, go. he's, he's the sergeant. It could be uh, the Muslim officer or deputy going to the funeral. Oh. Officer was not going to mess with you guys. Talking about the sheriff guy, the, the guy that works here at the cemetery with us. Oh, he lit up, he lit, he, he lit up, he lit up, he lit up. Who is he stopping? Call Miley over here. Now, please. I told him to get Miley. Yeah, he's pulling in. I just I just told one of the guys to get Miley over here. So Miley can figure out, yeah. What is he pulling, who is he talking, who is he, why is he pulling in? You know what, I'm going to get out and talk to him. I'm going to figure out what he's stopping us for. Are we being stopped or... I just want to know what's going on. Are you with us? No. No? no. Okay, we're over here. He, he's telling us to move to the side. He does not. He's not stating if he's stopping us or not. Miley's coming over here. He's not. I asked him. I said, "Are you stop? Are you stopping us or what?" He's like, "Just go over there." Miley's Miley's coming over here. So I called Miley over here to get get over here. So let me talk to Miley real quick and see. About it. Yeah, I know. Yeah, we don't. Where is the deputy? He's he told us to pull to the side. Yeah. Um, we don't know what's going on. We didn't. Is he you know. in the field with you guys? He's on the phone with somebody. Um, he's coming up to okay. us, and yeah, Miley's here also. Make sure you're recording, Drew. Yeah. Huh? Yeah, I am. He's on the phone with somebody telling him um, if you want to be over here or something. Yeah, but um, you know where the, uh, the you heard? Is? Yeah, the Islamic Islamic. Yeah. He's talking to somebody on the phone, on his personal phone. So, I know you guys, you guys were employed by who, Metro State? Yes. You guys look like cops. I thought you guys were like cops the first when you blocked me in the section and stuff. Um, yeah, we're, we're doing a funeral escort, so, um, Miley, so. What seems to be the problem, officer? It seems, um, the sheriff? Yep. Orange County. Oh. 17 years. Okay. What seems to be the problem, officer? It seems, um... The sheriff? 
Yep. Yeah. Okay. Orange yeah. County. Oh, okay. 17 years. Okay. They always you're, you're come. You're the owner of the. Company? No, I'm not the owner of them. They okay. always come and officiate okay, hold on. funerals for us. Okay. Because the traffic becomes steep. And I'll give you an example. We had a funeral here. We, with the hearse, we waited an hour and a half and the family got lost. And after 4 o'clock, we're going to pay these guys overtime. But uh, in the 10 years I've known them, they've never pretended to be police officers as yeah, well. Yeah, okay, I'll be on the phone. And they always helped us with every funeral, every Muslim mm -hmm. funeral throughout Orlando. Okay. Miley's talking he's to him right now. Like he's saying that we look like cops. He's, no, they're, that they're he's he's purple. Yeah, he's saying that he's where he sees uh, he sees blue lights. Yeah, put it on. So you guys just do an escort and then mm -hmm. yes, sir. everybody's recording. As, as, as we get here, the mm -hmm. yep. goes off. We turn all their lights off and they go home. And we go home. Okay. And they will not be turned on until there's another funeral. Okay. Right. Um. Okay. You guys happen to have IDs with you by chance? He's asking for IDs. Okay. For what reason? Are we being detained? What? What's the um, reason? Um, it's I'm a traffic stop. It's a traffic stop. For what reason, though? He's speaking to the owner. Oh, he's speaking yeah. to the owner? Okay. Yeah, so okay. for what reason? Okay. So, it seems like it was blue lights, okay? He seems like it was blue lights. I heard sirens. And he heard sirens. Okay. When I came up to turn, the intersection... Turn the lights on. Okay. Turn the lights on? Yeah. Yeah, but just hold on a second. Just hold on a second. We'll check that in a little bit. Turn on the lights on right now. Okay. 145. Yeah, the light, the, here. I'll put it on speaker. It's on speaker. Okay, deputy, can you hear me? Yes, uh, um, uh, so how are you doing? Deputy. Good, how are you? Good. Okay, 316-1974 says we're allowed to run funeral escorts. Our lights are purple and amber. We'll turn all our lights on for you, but I can promise you we're not doing anything illegal and we don't have blue lights. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and turn all our lights on. Okay. All right. So, if you need to get a sergeant out, get your traffic unit out. I don't know, but that's fine. We've been doing funeral escorts for the mosque for years. And okay. Just because some, some, because some more motorcycle deputy with Orange County wants to create a problem, that doesn't mean we want to start having a problem with Osceola since we've never done anything wrong in Osceola. So, I'm asking you to look at our lights okay. and let my men go their separate way. All right. Because yeah, I'll I'll take a look at it. Um, like I said, I mean, I I, I, I never. Asking for driver's license, why we're doing a fifty when we're legally allowed to do three sixteen nineteen seventy four. Okay. Florida State statute three sixteen nineteen seventy four, so we can do general escorts. So uh, I'm just confused. Why are we doing this? Okay. 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 I'll check the lights, okay? Um, Everyone turn your lights on now. Okay. Drew, make sure well, you're recording. Well, li listen. Um, I'm listening. Okay, right now, I understand you want them to turn on their lights, but let me do it, okay? Because I, I've i never done this before, okay? I've never seen no. this, this company before, okay? And at okay. this moment, okay. I do have the reasonable suspicion that there was blue lights and there was a siren, so I'll investigate it. And they'll listen to me because this is a traffic stop for now, okay? Okay. If there's no blue lights or nothing like that, okay? There's no blue lights, and we have okay, sir. in our vehicles per Florida statute. There's so, what? And we have purple and amber lights. Okay. So, why wouldn't you let my men turn the lights on for you? I'm confused. Um, because it's... 
I'll check the lights. I'll check the lights now. I'm on the phone with you, okay? Great. And I appreciate that. I okay. really do because we're being harassed by Orange County, and we definitely don't want to start the harassment with Osceola since we've been working in Osceola for eight okay. years. All right. Well, we can call you back if anything, but for now, I'll just go ahead and uh, check, okay? Well, hand my phone to his phone to his, my officer so that way he can keep me posted. But yes, please look at our lights. Okay. Per, per, per Florida Statute 316-1974, we're allowed to have purple and amber if we do. Okay. Um. All right, I'll, I'll, I'll speak. I'll speak with you if, if anything. Okay. Let me let me okay. try to, let me try to check this. Okay. And sure. and I'll speak and I'll speak to your employees about. Uh, Something else I observed in a traffic stop, okay, that needs to be addressed because of a safety issue. All right, so, um, you were on a traffic right? stop and you observed my guys doing something wrong. I guess this one. I'll explain it to you in a little bit, okay? Uh, third, okay. third, third, third unit just pulled up. Uh, second unit's a motor deputy. Third one's a sergeant. You made the stop right here. Yeah, he's talking with those. Where was he on a traffic stop? Um, he pulled he pulled into the into the grass area. We were pulling in, and he never pulled up behind any of us and initiated his lights. He initiated it on the side of the road. He's saying that he was on a traffic stop and saw you guys do something. No. Mm mm. Okay. The sergeant is pulling them away to talk to him. Photo. Yeah. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. One of you use the siren? Nope, none of us. None of us. Okay. Nope. Not one bit. Air horns only. They don't. Drew, um, Drew says he's probably talking about the air horns, but we hear air horns only. Never. The officer who's supposed to have stopped them, he's never seen. Drew's recording? Yeah, he is. And, and James. Don't worry and about it. Don't worry about it. Miley's here, so Miley's had to talk with them. I'm going to call this. Fucking bullshit. I can't. Okay. Not to worry, Jay. Jay, I'm here. Yeah, don't worry about it. Yeah, I know, but it's non-stop harassment, and now Osceola's gonna start harassing us too? I just, I can't. The new guy said he's new here, so just, just yeah, oh, yeah, my is just to just keep quiet. Yeah. He'll, yeah. he'll deal with it. Yeah. Uh-huh. Okay. Hey, guys, who's, uh, who's driving the cars? Oh, you and you? Yes. Okay. Um, motorcycle 6 on, and here, 4. He's telling us to come over to whoever's in the car. Um, yeah. Somebody's hitting the siren. Yeah. Uh, he's saying the reason why we're here is because someone hit the siren in the car. Stepped on the brakes? Never. Nope, I know. I know. James, uh, Joe's talking to him right now. I understand, but it's... Okay, the traveling distance, okay? You only have so much of a reaction. So step on the brakes or hit the brakes, okay? The average person, it takes 1.6 seconds to react okay, to braking. So if someone would have slammed on the brakes before, them, they would have, you, you would have hit them and it would have caused damage. Okay? The Bureau of the 1974 says they're supposed to hit tailgate. I just need a driver's license, okay? Because it is a traffic stop. He says the traffic stop. He's requiring a driver's a driver's license. First, I need to see the driver's license. Okay. What I determine to do after that, it's up to my discretion. Okay. That's it. Yes, sir. What is the sergeant doing? The sergeant's talking to Miley right now. Ask the officer to go over to talk to the sergeant and give the sergeant your phone. Let me talk to him. Okay. I will. Hey, Jay, he was saying we was using uh, sirens. I showed him the cars. I was making them the hair horn. I said, we did not use sirens, air horns. And I said, maybe officers confused between the sirens and air horns. But and I made him sound how the air horn sounds like. I said, this is air horn. He goes, no. He says, here are sirens. No, sir. It's the air horn. He's confused. Okay. Call Jay on your phone. My phone's dying. You heard stutters? Where's your phone at? Call. Okay, you are? Jeez. Okay. Uh, Drew, you on the phone? No. I call call Jay. My phone's dying. No, let me see your phone. I don't, I don't even have my license on this. We'll get, to, we'll get to the bottom of it and figure it out. Call Jay. Jay, I'm going to call you on Drew's phone so you can speak to the sergeant. All right, hurry up. All right. All right, bye. Call Jay. 
missing so he can speak to the sergeant. Yeah, we'll, we'll figure it out. Just get, just get yeah. Yeah, okay. okay. The sergeant's walking okay. away right now. Hold on. Uh, Put it on speaker. All right, you're on speaker. He's walking away to his car. Okay, we'll go to him. Okay. Say, my boss would like to talk to you, sergeant. Okay, are you willing to talk to him? Excuse me, sergeant. Can I have a word, have a word with you? He said one minute, so. Sure. Are you recording on your phone or anything? I'm, 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 else it's, it's on my body camera. Oh, you have a body camera? Yeah. Okay. The sergeant's right here. Okay. Um, but my boss wants to speak yes, with sir. you. Hey, how are you? Hey, sergeant, how you doing today, sir? Good, how are you? Good, good. I uh, I'm just trying to figure out what's going on, Sergeant. We've been working in your jurisdiction in that sector for 10 years with no problem. Yeah. Just because Orange County's harassing us doesn't mean that we're actually committing crimes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, yeah. Well, hey, hey. well, let, let me, let me, let me tell you why we're here. Okay. So the officer, um, you know, has said, you know, the lights look blue and he heard a siren. So uh, one of your guys. Yeah, yeah, so that's, that's what we're on. Now, the, the other thing is, he said that the uh, the guys on the motorcycle were uh, driving a little service. So, uh, that, that's the only reason I'm here. Okay. I'll let you know what's up when we're done. Um, but the lights I'm okay with. They look purple to me. Um, and I, uh, my wallet is in the office. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's saying that it doesn't look like what he's doing. Guys are legally allowed to move. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I got you. I'll let you know what's up. Okay, All right. All right, man. Thanks. I appreciate there you go. Mm -hmm. All right. Hello. Yeah, you're still up. So, um, yes. hey. So he's saying that the motorcycles were driving reckless? Yeah. Um, uh, J hey, I just want to let you know. I walked away real quick. Uh, Drew said that James was talking a little bit too much. Uh, that's what Drew just said. He just, that's all he said to me. Um, I was supposed okay. to speak to Drew, but I guess he was talking a little bit too much. What, 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 did they move up something? What do you mean they move up? No, no one moved up. Once we noticed the sheriff, um, um, the two motorcycles just popped in the back, and that's it. So then how the hell were they driving reckless? Yeah, I don't know. Drew, you want, you want to speak to him? He's, he's trying to say that uh, me and James was driving too close to the back of a car. And I told him um, we're, we're a certain statute. distance Listen to people that... Why do you need to go right now and say Florida Statute 316-1974 says tailgating is exempt during a funeral escort right fucking now? Hold on, go. he's coming. Don't say anything. I'm not saying anything. Right, Hold the sergeant the phone. He's Hold on, he's, he's the sergeant he's here. Write you guys just written warnings, okay? Written uh, warnings, they're writing us. We're not write you sergeant! Um, we just, shouldn't even be doing that. Just make sure that when you, sergeant. Sergeant. you guys are on a motorcycle right. procession, that those should be a foot off somebody's top. bumper. I know. You know what I mean? okay. So, That's... um, and I, I don't care what Orange County has against you guys. I'm, I'm just trying to be fair, right. all right? But I also don't want you guys to hurt somebody in the process, okay? So we'll be out of here in just a minute, and uh, we'll be Okay, going. sergeant, can you yes, give sir. me a second of your time? Yes, sir. 316 yeah, dude, I, I, listen, man, I'm, I'm on our motor unit. I know what, I know what statue you're talking about. Um, okay. 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 All right, man. Have a good day. Take care. See you, bud. Drive safe. All right. Okay. Oh. All right. Hello. Yeah. All right. So he says just give us a warning. This you got it from here? Yeah. All right. All right. Bye. Call. Yeah, I will. Any changes. I will. Bye. Bye. You do care. So make sure that even though you guys are doing this, hey, okay. no, um, make sure he's that talking. You guys I just want to have you here. He's talking. Okay, because that is a violation of the statute. Okay. Now. The part about the siren, I'm gonna chalk that up and, and just, he heard a siren, okay? It's coming from there and there. I, I warn you this, okay? In Osceola County, if I hear you guys hitting a siren and I catch you, you're gonna go to jail, all right? So just as long as you guys know that, I'm good with that. I'm not gonna make a big deal about the siren because 
you know. Do you have my air horn? Is that a foul air horn? You have, you have yeah, I'm, I'm with you. That's I'm going to give you the benefit of the doubt, okay? But I'm just telling you, in the future, as your owner knows, don't hit, hit your sirens. You know what I'm saying? Do you hit air horn, that's it, okay? Um, and then it'll be two minutes, and I'll get you guys out of here. Okay. 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 Yes, Thank, Thank you. you. Um, a Ford Explorer pulled up, so I'm marked. Uh-huh. There's no, he's not coming out the car yet. He's a lieutenant. Yeah, probably. I don't see how he heard a siren. He probably heard the rumbler, maybe. Maybe he thought the rumbler was a siren. <laughs> but no one hit their siren. Apparently, I need to buy more body cameras like we can afford it right now, though. Yeah, um, yeah the, 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 the guy that originally stopped us, the rookie, whatever he is, he was texting the sergeant the whole time. <laughs> because when he was talking, I looked at his phone, and he had got a text from the sergeant. <laughs> so... I, when uh, Miley showed his uh, little badge, um, the the rookie guy like changed his attitude toward us. Right, of course. And that's why he said he said for you guys to put more to the side. I was like, I even asked him. You heard me on the body camera. I said, Are we being stopped? Just go to the side. That that is not constitutional. Am I being stopped or am I being detained? What am I? What's going on? Right. Uh, he said, if You're just telling me to move to the side. That's, that's you just telling me to move to the side. Am I being stopped? Right. Yeah. Can I, get a, can I get a card from you? You don't have cards? Just new, rookie. You know, they haven't made, printed them out yet. No, what's your uh, badge number or name, last name? Huh? And what's your badge number? You have ID. Or your ID number? What's that? Okay, just for my record and the boss, so. Huh? Oh, okay, I just wanted to no, know. My, my boss just told me to ask for it, so. Yeah, doing as I'm told. So, no, I asked for his badge number. Uh, Jay, Jay said to make sure you get the names. So. And he refused to give me a business card. He's saying he didn't have none. Everybody has a business card. Oh, we get his badge number's name? Also have a badge number. No, I did. I, um, El Vardri- he said Rodriguez. Yeah. And I said, what's your badge number? He said, I don't have a badge number. I said, what's your EID number? And he looked at me like, like damn, this nigga knows everything. We are on track. Yeah, get your have- EID number, homie. Yeah. Orange County don't have badge numbers. This interview is being conducted at 1687? 6817. 6817 Westwood Boulevard. The date is December 11th. The time is 1509 hours. Person being interviewed is Eunice Gardy in reference to uh, incident number 19I127436. This interview is being conducted by myself, Detective. Sean Darty, persons present during the interview, or myself, Detective Sean Darty, Eunice Gardy, and Deputy James Bridges. Deputy James Bridges. Orange County Sheriff's Office. Orange County Sheriff's Office. Uh, can you state your name, full name, address, and phone number? Eunice Gardy, phone number 407 and 032835. All right, thank you, yes. I'm required to advise you, I'm a law enforcement officer empowered to administer oaths during a criminal investigation as provided in State Statute 117.10. A material false statement while under oath is a misdemeanor of the first degree and is punishable by imprisonment of up to one year in the county jail. Do you understand what that means? Yes. Okay, at this time, will you raise your right hand? Do you swear that the statement you're about to give is the truth, nothing but the truth, to best of your knowledge, so help you God? Yes, I do. Okay, I know I just read this to you, but um, I'm just going to read it to you again so we have it on recording. All right, you have the right to remain silent. Do you understand? Yes. Anything you say may be used against you in court. Do you understand? Yes. You're entitled to talk to a lawyer before and during questioning. Do you understand? Yes. And if you cannot afford a lawyer and want one, you'll be provided one before and during questioning without charge. Do you understand? Yes. Okay. Um, just going to have you sign right here stating that I read you all that. Okay. Uh, Eunice will get this taken care of as quickly as possible. So, do you know what I'm here to talk to you about today? Well, I got the gist of it, yes. Okay. So, uh, did you come in contact with a, a Deputy Rodriguez the other day down in Point Siena in Osceola County? Do you recall that? Yes. Okay. Can you just tell me what happened? I was conducting a funeral. Okay. And this was right in the cemetery. Okay. Uh, one of the gentleman who works for Metro State Mm -hmm. came up towards me and said, can you come in and see what's happening here? Okay. So I came. I had my traffic vest on Mm -hmm. because I helped conduct the traffic in the parking lot then. And the officer was talking to them. In the meantime, one of the Metro State guys was videoing it with his boss. Okay. 
all he asked me, who are you? Mm -hmm. So I said, I conduct all the funerals here. Mm -hmm. And of course, when he saw the sheriff thing on my vest, he mm -hmm. said, are you a sheriff? I said, yes, I'm a volunteer with the Orange County Sheriff's Office. Mm -hmm. Nothing further was said. Okay. Did you tell him you specified you were a, a volunteer? Yes. Okay. Um, did at any point that you feel like you gave him the impression you were a deputy sheriff? No. Um, what were you wearing? I know you just described it. What were you wearing your, while you were there that day? Civilian clothes with my traffic vest on. Okay. And do you usually have permission to, to do you wear your volunteer stuff while you're doing tra your funeral stuff? Yeah. Okay. Um, do you feel there's any reason that that deputy would get the impression that you were a... No, uh, because you're just totally ignorant. Okay. Listen, I wasn't there, man. Yeah, I know. I know, I know you're frustrated and you're upset. Yeah. I don't, I'm just here to, to let you give a statement, okay? I had nothing to do with it that day, okay? And I know you're frustrated. I, I know. Um, so you didn't tell him that you were... He asked if you were a deputy sheriff and you didn't say yes. I've been no, a deputy sheriff for 17 even years. No, that. Okay. All right. You know it's all on video, right? Yes. Okay. Excuse me, sir, but I'm afraid someone is endeavoring to contact you telephonically. Oh, that's your phone. Jamal, let me call you back in a minute. I have a major, major problem. I need to talk to you. Okay. That was confusing. I thought someone was speaking to you. <laughs> yes, man. Hello. Excuse me, sir, but I'm afraid someone... Yes, darling. Oh, okay. She's at the main entrance, my daughter. Okay. So, um, you typically do that? You typically work with uh, the Metro State to do, you know, funeral lines no, courts no, and stuff? only when there's a funeral. Only when there's a funeral? For the Islamic centers. Okay, so you only work the Islamic center That's one right. specifically? You have some sort of relationship with them that you, you, you have, you work? I mean, whatever. In 16 years. Okay, okay. And... Okay. I mean, I, that's all I want to do is get your side of the story, and, and that's fine, and I'll, I'll record this. I'll make sure this is entered. Do you have anything else that you want to tell me right now that you feel like you need to add, that you feel like um, there was a misunderstanding? Well, or that? Uh, to begin with, what I saw, mm -hmm. the officer who was talking to the Metro guys mm -hmm. said he did a traffic stop. Mm -hmm. My mind was boggling mm -hmm. because the traffic stop was in the cemetery. Okay. And he insisted they had blue lights and all, which they were checking. There was no blue lights, the lights were purple. Okay. Eventually the same officer called his uh, sergeant or somebody. Okay. The sergeant came and they had a little chat on their own. And I was just standing in the back not saying a word. Right. All the Metro State guys were there. Mm -hmm. And next thing I knew, uh, the sergeant just said to them, you're going to get a warning ticket. Mm -hmm. And that was it. Okay. All right. Like I said, I wasn't there. I don't know. Just here to get your statement. Um, since there's nothing else for us to go over. <sighs> this interview will now conclude at 1515 15 hours on the same date, December 11, 2019. Mm -hmm.